energy policy in Malaysia, is revised from time to time to meet the country's energy demands. In 2018, Malaysia announced that it had set a target of 20% renewable energy in its generation mix by 2025. To achieve its 2025 target, it is estimated Malaysia will need RM33 billion, 8 billion US dollars worth of investments in its renewable energy sector. The expected investments would not only come from the government, but from public-private partnerships and private financing. To increase private participation, the government will clearly need to incentivize private financing. The introduction of Net Energy Metering NEM, program for solar photovoltaic in late 2018, where photovoltaic solar energy will be first consumed, and the excess delivered to national utility company TNB, on a one-on-one -on -one offset basis, Apart from the NEM scheme, Malaysia has also introduced the Large Scale Solar LSS, competitive bidding program, to drive down the cost of energy, for the development of Large Scale Solar Photovoltaic Plant LSS. These are the policy visions. Achieving 20% renewable energy capacity mix by 2025. Implementing enhanced net energy metering NEM, and solar leasing. Implementing large-scale solar program 3, LSS3. Implementing non-solar renewable energy projects. Establishing renewable energy facilitation programs in Sustainable Energy Development Authority, SEDA, Malaysia. Enabling greater access to renewable energy sources. The objectives of the policy are To increase renewable energy contribution in the national power generation mix To facilitate the growth of the renewable energy industry To ensure reasonable renewable energy generation costs To conserve the environment for future generations and to enhance awareness on the role and importance of renewable energy. Based on the survey that had been conducted in 2019, the framework of the public opinion to the renewable energy is comprised of four variables which is cost, knowledge, trust, and intention to use of renewable energy technology initiative. It is concluded that, firstly, knowledge of renewable energy technologies as effects on the intention to use of renewable energy technologies secondly trust has effects on the intention to use of renewable energy technologies and finally cost has effects on the intention to use renewable energy technologies these are some of the issues that related to renewable energy in malaysia one market failure exists 2. Constraints 3. Arbitrary price setting 4. Tensions and trade-offs 5. Absence of regulatory framework 6. Poor governance 7. Lack of institutional measures 8. Limited oversight Brazil's medium-term energy policy is reflected in the 10-year energy expansion plans PDE, which are updated on a yearly basis. Originally focused on electricity, in 2007 the 10-year plans expanded to cover the energy sector. The National Energy Plan 2030 PNE, developed in 2006 to 2007, provides a longer-term integrated energy strategy. A National Energy Plan 2050 is in the development stages. Law 9478 of 1997 established the general principles of Brazil's national energy policy, including the use of renewable energy sources as a pillar of the country's energy policy. The National Council for Energy Policy CNPE, 
is the highest level body in charge of setting energy policy in Brazil. The Ministry of Mines and Energy has the overall policy making responsibility for the electricity sector, while the Brazilian Electricity Regulatory Agency is responsible for regulating and controlling electricity generation, transmission, and distribution in compliance with existing legislation. The PDEE aims for renewable energy to account for 42.5% of the country's total primary energy supply by 2023, up from 42.1% in 2014, which are the basis for ordinary power capacity auctions. Political economy affects biomass and hydroelectricity development in that region. It focuses on political economy as characterized by the needs and agenda of local communities, economic interests and politics at the national level, and finally, international social actors and financial interests. As of 2018, renewable energy accounted for 79% of the domestically produced electricity used in Brazil. Brazil relies on hydroelectricity for 65% of its electricity, and the Brazilian government plans to expand the share of biomass and wind energy which is currently 6% as alternatives. Even though Brazil is currently in political turmoil, in relation to environmental and sustainable development policies, the Brazilian energy matrix is still a benchmark that can be used to ascertain Brazil's use of renewable energy. 43.5% of Brazilian consumption is supplied by renewable sources, while 14% of the world consumption is supplied by these same sources. This data comes from Brazil's National Energetic Bulletin and are based on 2016 figures. Brazilian renewable energy resources consist of 39.1% sugarcane and its derivatives, 27.6% hydroelectric power plants, 18.8% vegetal coal and firewood, and 14.5% other renewables such as solar, wind, biomass, etc. The main provisions addressed by the public hearings that affect the Brazilian renewable energy market are First, change in the tariff benefits related to renewable energy. Second, expansion of access to the energy free market. And third, creation of capacity public auctions.